Dear Mr. Samuel Alderson, When the first automobiles rode down the road, we had no seatbelts or airbags, but now we do, thanks to you. With the invention of Sierra Sam, you have saved more lives than anyone can ever thank you for. You have passed down a legacy whose origin was forgotten. You led the push for automobile safety, sparking the motorization of America. Thanks to your success, you will always be remembered as a leader in vehicle safety. Before the 1950s, the fatality rate of a car crash was more than 15 times what it is today. However, over the years, this number dramatically decreased. So how are the lives of countless men, women, and children saved all over the world? Meet Sierra Sam, an engineering dummy created by Samuel Alderson in 1949. Because of this one dummy, the innovative leadership of Samuel Alderson, the standards of vehicle safety have increased significantly over the past years. There are nearly 220 million cars equipped with safety features on U.S. roads today may be attributed to the leadership of Mr. Alderson. Safety for Dummies, the legacy of Samuel Alderson. At the turn of the 19th century, the number of automobile-related deaths remained marginal since cars were still expensive and uncommon, as the roaring 1920s ushered in a new period of automotive manufacturing. The popularity of cars increased. By the 1930s, automobile-related accidents and deaths became further apparent in everyday life. Society quickly encouraged both the automotive industry and the government to find new ways to make cars safer. This prompted the use of anesthetized animals and simulation along with human corpses or cadavers, a practice frowned upon by the nation. We did do some, there were some other testings done with alternative things like pigs, because pigs have a skin structure and, you know, blood vessel structure similar to humans. And so to look at potential damage to the chest area and stuff like that, they sometimes put pigs in these things to run. Uh, at times, human volunteers were also used in experiments to help scientists better understand how force and shattered glass could affect the human body. These dangerous and unethical practices continued into the 1950s. Just when vehicle safety was at its darkest hour, Samuel Alderson at Sierra Engineering Co. used previous information from cadaver and animal research to develop the first crash test dummy, Sierra Sam, in 1949. These dummies were durable and provided set weight and features, as opposed to cadavers. Uh, when we do crash tests, um, you know, the, the speed needs to be the same so that you can compare test A to test B to test C. And so what the dummy will actually do is help you uh, measure things like impact velocity and, and acceleration, yaw rates, and those kinds of things so that you can compare the tests. In 1952, the Alderson Research Laboratories was formed when the United States Air Force took initiative and contracted Alderson to create the first set of anthropomorphic dummies. These human surrogates would replace unlucky animals or volunteers in their tests. These dummies were used to test ejection seats, aviation helmets, and pilot restraint harnesses. This decision no doubt saved the lives of countless volunteers, and its success soon gave the automotive industry the idea to manufacture crash test dummies for cars. The innovative leadership of Samuel Alderson and his creation of Sierra Sam paved the way for a new era of automobile safety in America. People are, are uh, show me creatures, right? Show me why something works, show me that something's safe. And so with a crash test dummy, you actually get data that you can read, that you can see, that you can study, versus design engineers saying, just take my word for it, right? If you have um, quantitative data that you can do, that you can replicate, that you can show the public. By the 1960s, the American public became increasingly concerned about the safety of their vehicles. Ralph Nader's book, Unsafe at Any Speed, accused the automotive industry of resisting to spend money to develop safety features such as seatbelts for their vehicles. The government took initiative in 1966 and enacted the National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act. This act was intended to allow the federal government to establish and administer the safety standards for motor vehicles and road safety. This act would reform a three-decade period filled with exponentially rising numbers of deaths and accidents from the road. During the signing of the act, President Lyndon B. Johnson showed his support to these key words in his speech. 
You're going to cut down the senseless loss of life. You're going to cut down the pointless injury. You're going to cut down the heartbreak. Safety is no luxury item. With the growing support for vehicle safety, the automotive industry searched for a safe way to crash test vehicles. The industry looked into adapting aerospace dummies but in order to develop new safety features for their vehicles. A more human-like dummy had to be developed to provide more feedback. Mr. Otterson paved the way again with his innovative leadership in vehicle safety. He introduced the new VIP variant of the crash test dummies, built specifically for automotive testing. These new human surrogates were designed to imitate the acceleration and weight properties of an average male at 170 pounds and to reproduce the effects of such an impact would have on such a person. The dummy had articulated joints, a steel rib cage, and a flexible neck and spine. Cavities held instruments for collecting data to evaluate the train system so that more complicated movements could be studied. The evolution has gone from just basically a mass to represent and load components to something that you can actually identify how a person would respond under those conditions. Mr. Samuel Alderson was once more a leader in the push for automotive safety with the introduction of his VIP series. With Sierra Sam, Mr. Alderson had led America into a new era of vehicle safety, but with the introduction of the VIP series, he laid the foundations for a safer, motorized, modern nation. In 1971, General Motors standardized the human surrogates developed by Alderson Research Laboratories and Sierra Engineering Co. and created the first model of the hybrid test dummy series. Eventually, an improved Hybrid 2 model will be created in 1972 and Hybrid 3 in 1976. Each subsequent model implemented more transducers and body parts more biofidelic than the last, including the head, the thorax, the spine, and the neck. From the very first test dummy that Samuel Alderson designed, unique and essential models have been produced to verify the safety of every corner of the automobile. This revolutionized automotive safety and spurred other advances in the field, such as the invention of the anti-lock braking system in 1978 and airbags in 1981. In 1997, when many deaths and injuries resulted from airbag deployment, the National Highway Transportation System Administration collaborated with the Society of Automotive Engineers to support the effort to create the Hybrid 3-based dummy family. From the 1980s to the 1990s, the U.S. Department of Transportation aired a series of highway safety advertisements titled, You Could Learn a Lot from a Dummy, starring Vince and Larry, two comical crash test dummies. The PSAs were intended to promote personal safety while driving. Safety belt usage increased from 14% to nearly 84%. Seatbelts and other automotive safety devices have saved almost 330,000 U.S. lives since they were first tested by crash dummies. Since 1921, the fatal rate per 100 million vehicle miles traveled decreased from 24.09 people to 1.1. Most importantly, crash tests have allowed consumers to see how a car they are considering to buy performed in a collision test. Ranking systems such as the 5-star safety ratings program provide crucial information that not only helps consumers learn about a vehicle's safety, but also encourages manufacturers to improve their cars to better compete in an advanced automotive market. None of these major changes to the automotive industry could have happened without the innovative leadership of Samuel Alderson. When one thinks of leadership, presidents and military heroes come to mind. But what of the ordinary people who make extraordinary discoveries that have resounding impacts on our daily lives? Leadership qualities are not always evident in an individual in the same manner one might perceive leadership in presidents or heroes. As a result, exceptional leadership is often overlooked. For this very reason, we told the important story of Samuel Alderson. His leadership led to extensive and revolutionary changes to the automotive safety industry. Samuel Alderson paved the way for the development of human circuits to be used for automotive safety testing. Modern car safety attested the life-saving legacy of Samuel Alderson. His leadership in vehicle safety led America into a new era of motorization. He was, and still is, an inspiration. For generations. Dear Mr. Samuel Alderson, thank you. I wonder why dummies would be inducted into the Smithsonian. Because, my battered buddy, if it weren't for us, people wouldn't know how important it is to buckle their safety belts. Yeah.